beauty reporter Kirby Johnson is here to talk about spot treatments today. Who doesn't love a good spot treatment? That's right. Nobody <laughs> likes acne. So Nobody we love likes spot acne. treatments. Yeah, but sometimes your spot treatment might not work as well as you would hope it would. But that might be because you're not most using... Most of the time. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> but you know what? It might be because you're not using the right one. So I'm breaking down the three top spot treatments and who they're best for. Okay, and you have it in three categories here. The yes. first one involves sulfur and it does not smell good. Okay, yes. Sulfur is actually for people if you have oily skin or combination skin, especially in that T-zone, go for sulfur spot treatments. What sulfur does, it's kind of like a vacuum. It just absorbs all of that oil <laughs> that in the pore. So it's really going to flatten out your blemish and it's really going to absorb that oil so you don't have shiny skin. It's not for people who have a really dry skin because it is pretty drying itself. It can cause a little bit of flaking. So I might stay away from that if you already have really dry skin. Okay. It does have a little bit of an odor <laughs> or a smell. Tad. So let's take a whiff of this. Now this one's not, it's not horrible. Exactly. It's not overwhelming. This is not as bad as it could be. This one is actually from Mario Badescu. It's their drying cream. And I know that you're familiar with the drying lotion. That's a little different. Now the drying lotion, it comes in a little bottle and it has layers of oil and then this pink goop at the bottom and you use a Q-tip. Yep. But and that's different than this. It is different. They do have similar ingredients, but this is more sulfur based. Mario Badescu is actually a pioneer in the spot treatment category. Great product. So everyone knows about that drying lotion, but we really do like this drying cream because it's a little bit more emollient. So it won't be as drying as some sulfur products. Um, one thing I really like about this is you can wear it at night, but sometimes when you wear it at night, it looks like a bunch of chicken pox yeah, on your face. The but one thing about this, it, it does have kind of like a neutral um, shade to it. So when you put it on, it kind of just disappears, but you can use it during the day so if you are a woman put on your SPF uh, put a little dab of the sulfur treatment let it dry completely and then put on your concealer and your foundation as you like and it kind of just fights it throughout uh, that blemish throughout the entire day but if you are a guy you probably probably just do just, it at night just yeah. use it at night unless you're using cover-up exactly you and no shame in want, that right <laughs> <laughs> now um, you also have benzoyl peroxide as one of the ingredients that we're looking for and that's in a lot yep. of stuff but that's not for everybody you know, I would reckon to say that benzoyl peroxide is one of the more popular spot treatment ingredients, but you have to be careful. I would not recommend this product unless you have really deep-rooted cystic reoccurring acne, and this is why. What benzoyl peroxide does is, let's say this is your pore and you have a blemish on top. It's going to just exfoliate your skin on top to get rid of all of that dead skin that might be covering up the pore, and then it's putting oxygen inside of the pore to kill up all of that acne bacteria. So it. basically, it's that's why it's best for deep-rooted acne, because it's really getting in the pore. However, with that being said, it's a little bit more hardcore than some other ingredients. So it can leave some redness, it can leave some um, extreme dryness to your skin, so you really do have to be careful. And um, We like this one from Oxy. It's their vanishing uh, treatment, and you just wear it at night and it rubs right in and it goes away. It's perfect. They're like one of the originals to pioneer yes. benzoyl peroxide. Yeah, and this is found at the drugstore, so it's really easy to get. Benzoyl peroxide is one of those ingredients that you can find very, very easily. And I use this for a long time, and the key is a little bit, just a little, little down. And only on the spot. Yes. Don't put it all over your no. face like I did when I was 15, because so then you'll look like you have windburn, okay? Yeah, you so look all right. <laughs> Careful. And this will last you a year if yeah. you do it like that, if One not longer, spot. just a little bit. Less little is more bit. with that. Okay, and now you suggest salicylic acid for people with sensitive skin, which doesn't really make sense because it, the word acid is <laughs> in, yes, involved there. Yes, I know it's kind of tricky, but the thing about salicylic acid is that it's not as harsh as benzoyl peroxide. Salicylic acid you can get just as easily as benzoyl peroxide, but unlike benzoyl peroxide, which goes deep into the pore, salicylic acid is just lightly exfoliating the top. So, that's so it's why actually it's, gentler. It's a lot more gentler. It's not going to leave you as flaky either. One product that we really like is from Yes to Tomatoes. It's what a fun a, name. I know, it's so fun. And this is their acne spot stick. So it kind of looks like a gadget that you would put on your, your face. But um, what it has in it is ginger. Ginger is going to help reduce any redness that you may have in that blemish. Or also it has tomatoes in it that help to reduce any kind of oil that you might be producing in your skin. Okay, and I love when it has the little roller ball because then you're getting the right amount. Exactly, and you don't have to worry about dispensing it on your finger and putting it on and overusing it at all. So okay, good to go. very good. Now, what about toothpaste? Is toothpaste, is that something, you know, you old hear that wives old wives' tale. tale, yeah, that you go 
get the old school Colgate or something like that you and know, put that on? Does it work? I tried that when I was younger yeah. and it does kind of reduce the size of it, but you do have to be careful these days because there's a lot more ingredients in toothpaste. So okay. just yeah, be careful don't get not the to white overdry. Don't Rembrandt or something. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want that white spot on your face, <laughs> yeah. so be careful. All right, well, thanks so much. Spots be gone. Thank Herbie. you, Matthew. Spots Vanished. Thanks.